Hello, my 3D printing peeps. Hello, my Bamboo Lab 3D printer owners. I'm here sitting next to a Bamboo Lab P1P, and we are going to talk about Bamboo Lab 3D printing adhesive. Specifically, why does it exist and does it work? I took one for the team so we can find out. Question number one, why does it exist? Glues and hairsprays are typically used on glass beds. Bamboo Labs printers, the P1P and X1C, do not come with glass beds. They come with textured beds. Textured beds typically don't need glue or hairspray to help with bed adhesion. Also, even with glass beds, hairspray is a commonly used additive, but glue is typically not something that is commonly used. It's commonly used only in dire situations for parts that are really misbehaving or have really small minimal bed contact. That said, it appears Bamboo Lab has determined a need for this special 3D printing adhesive. When I set up my new P1P printer, the one that comes with the camera and the LED light pre-installed, I was surprised to find the new 3D printing adhesive included with the printer. That means not only has Bamboo Lab determined there is a need for this glue to exist, They've determined there is so much need for this glue to exist that every single owner of the P1P should have it. With the feeling that I don't need glue on my textured bed, I left the glue stick sitting on a shelf for the past month. It was during this month I started printing many of my work projects. Much of these models are tall, thin models with minimal bed contact. To my surprise, they were failing regularly. These are models that almost never fail on my other printers, most of which have glass beds. I began wondering, why are they failing? After several inches, my models were separating from the bed and I was ending up with masks that looked like this. And knife handles that looked like this. Here's a look at how my prints were going. To combat this, I made a few slicer changes to try and improve my situation. Despite slowing down the printing, adding a brim, keeping the bed clean, and using hairspray, I was still losing many of my prints. Enter Bamboo Lab 3D Printing Adhesive. Previously, I was unsure how to really tell if this was working, helping, or not, but now that I have consistently failing models, it's an ideal situation to put this to the test. If you watch the Bamboo Lab demonstration, they show you applying the glue on the entire bed. I don't see the purpose or value in doing this. Rather than smear glue all over the bed, I took the glue and simply put it on the footprint of these models. To my complete and total surprise, utilizing the Bamboo Lab 3D printing adhesive greatly increased my success rate to a point that I did not have a failure for about 10 or 12 of these handles. This failure came after multiple attempts at wiping down the bed with IPA between prints to redistribute the glue without reapplying. After the failure, I simply reapplied the glue and immediately had another successful print. But printing a prop knife handle is one thing. I have yet to have a single success attempting to print this thing upside down like so. Do we think Bamboo Labs 3D printing adhesive can turn this hot mess into a successful mask? Let's find out. Again, I know the footprint of my models, so I took the glue and I applied it approximately where the support patterns of this mask are gonna be.
and I fired up the P1P. And here it is, my very first attempt using the Bamboo Lab 3D printing adhesive. An absolutely perfect mask, possibly the cleanest I've ever printed. It is with great surprise that I can report Bamboo Lab's 3D printing adhesive absolutely, positively, no doubt whatsoever, works. I went from having regular fails on my 3D printed handles and zero success on my 3D printed mask to only one single knife handle failure in about one dozen two at a time test prints. I do question whether or not we should need a glue with a textured plate to begin with. However, the glue works. It's now included with your printer and using it is a no brainer. If you are having models separate from the bed or being knocked over by the nozzle, Go ahead and try a few things to improve your situation, such as lowering your infill to reduce the amount of nozzle movement inside your print, slowing down your print speed, using a brim, using a bigger brim, making sure your print bed is clean, and apparently utilizing Bamboo Labs 3D printing adhesive because it absolutely, positively, without a doubt, works. You are on the 3D Rundown YouTube channel. I'm Greg Adventure, your instructor on 3drundown.com. And finding out if Bamboo Labs little green bottle of 3D printing adhesive actually works was today's adventure.